Hello everyone, Pals of Poison here, and welcome to uh, Scripture. This is a, a uh, visual novel type of game. Uh, just came out like uh, two seconds ago on Steam, and so we're going to check it out. Never played this type of game before on the channel. Uh, so, uh, from what I understand, uh, a lot of it's hand-drawn, and uh, yeah, so uh, let's give it a go. Looks like I got some um, different options down here. Okay. And where am I? Looks like we're on a train. So, just a dream. I just had a wild dream. Something about a girl lying in the forest. Hmm. What in the world? So pull yourself together. I'm on the train. Looks like there's something here. Let me remember. Well, of course, it couldn't be better. Fall asleep on a lousy train. At least a window seat. Nice view of life rushing by. The best seats in the hall. Hall? Yeah. That's really, really... All my amazing life is visible from here at a glance. Although here some young vandals have scribbled reminders of themselves. Is this down here? Well, what is it to me? Sheer trifle. Just think, scratches on the glass. Yes, if I wanted to, I would... The whole world saw in a grain of sand. If I wanted, I could, with these scratches, as in a comic book, tell my whole life. Like in some stupid comic, scratched on the glass of this lousy train. Day one. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. For example, this one. Let it be me. Semyon Serev, Serev, eh, Serev, that guy. Graduated from high school, university. I finished my studies and started working. Finished, so to speak, to become and begin to be. And why is my head, and why is my head a square? But this is how I always had it. I was even teased at school for it. Old square head. Here comes old Squarehead. Here, here comes old Blockhead. Charlie Brown, right? Squareheaded. Some, some geomet meters, geometers. Ah, oh, and this is my home. Here I rent a room in a communal apartment so that I had where to sleep. I'm not sure what they meant there. And where? Error F20.9 character not found. I do not want to talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that intentional or. Day two. Alright. I feel like I'm missing something. We sat there all day depend, uh, pondering our square head and where we grew up. I remember that day. All night long, I had a terrible headache. Like, am I supposed to be... Is any of this down here? Something? Skip. Auto. Save. Save. Load. Settings. Okay. I don't know. I had a terrible dream. I walked through a dark forest. I was very afraid that someone would feel my fear. I remember. The only thing that made me move on, I knew that I have to go through this. Ooh. And I walked. Walked, despite the fact that with each step the forest grew darker. Walked until I saw something. I cannot recall. My face? It's, it's me. I saw... What did I see? Whom did I see? Old Squarehead. 
All right, day five. I mean, the days are just zooming by. Also, how long is this train ride? So far, it's five days. Where are we going exactly? Across the entire Asian continent? Okay, moving on. For several days after that, I was tormented by insomnia. I surfed half of the internet in search of a means to remember a dream. How to remember a dream? How do you remember a memory? One site says our memory is like film. Everything that you feel and see is imprinted on it. To remember something. Ah, nice. It is enough to first recall the adjacent frame. Ugh, creepy. So, the adjacent frame, right? Day 12. S skipped uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Just. I do feel like I'm missing something. Like. I don't know. It seems. I almost did it. Every day. I woke up every day and wrote down my dreams. Dream journal, not, not uncommon. That is, if I expressed myself in a figurative sense. I wound up a whole bunch of film. <laughs> All this for the sake of one thing. I should find her. Okay, in pursuit of love, maybe? in the dark forest and today today I finally today I finally found myself there again having played this scene so many times in my head I no longer feel fear at all I enter a dark forest and with every step it gets darker until finally at one of the moments hello aren't you lost Who are you? How did you get here? Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I just saw you loitering here alone. Because when I see strange dudes loitering by themselves, I tend to walk up to them and say, Hey, are you lost? Especially when I'm a small girl. But this is a very large forest, so I decided to ask. Are you not lost? I am Alice. And you? I don't have a name. Uh, and do you think I will believe this story? Alice. I'm looking for something here. Am I, am I supposed to... Uh, or rather, someone. Since you came over and struck up our conversation, would you like to help? Walking alone in the woods looking for something. So you're one of these. Tolkien? Tol <laughs> Tolkienus? Yes. Yes. Uh, I want to read The Hobbit together and maybe play some D&D. &D. She doesn't know what to say. Anyway, I have a business and I cannot leave it. Your business is in the woods. If you want, I would help you. Uh, 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 if you want, I would help you, but I need... Money? What do you need? What do you need? Will you say something? Sorry, I seem to have forgotten what I needed to do. <laughs> this forest is like sucking down people's memories. Or... As if it was nothing in the first place. Sorry, I'm talking nonsense. Of course, let me help you. What are we looking for? To say that it was strange now is to say nothing. But since you decided to help, maybe it doesn't mean anything. I'm looking for one place in this forest. As soon as we find it, I will notice it. We will both notice it. Tell me how far is the road. Oh, very far away. Actually, 
I myself have never walked through the whole forest on this road. What? Where did you go then? Ouch, you seem to be right. Ouch, would you pinch you? How stupid I am. The road leads through this forest and leads to the train station to the city. I'm just returning home from there. You too? No, I was walking towards you. A doy. Ouch. Okay, it does not matter. Tell me, have you seen anything unusual on the way here? Maybe someone was lying on the road? Hmm? Oh, hmm. I don't think so. Wait a minute. I saw a bunch of trees without leaves. They were covered with something like a spider's web. Probably sick. The tree was sick? But the forest had already dug some holes under their roots. Forester. He probably knows how to treat it. Did you say the Forester? Yes, Subaru came and... They're gonna fix things. Well, of course. Probably he was already here. And that's why we didn't see anything today. Logic. Uh, do you know where he lives? In fact, yes. It's right next to my house. What is happening right now? I have no idea. When I was little, other children and I played hide-and-seek with him in the woods. But that was a long time ago. Most of us have already grown up and have left in all directions. <laughs> Just... Okay. I understand what you mean. Can you meet me here tomorrow and walk me home? Then I'll show you where the forester lives. Why tomorrow? Can't I see you off now? I'm afraid you can't. It's time for us to say goodbye. This day is coming to an end. What day? Day 12. What are you talking about? And poof. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. All right. Day 13. Every day for the past week, I have been imagining this forest. And today, everything was as usual. I found myself in front of it. The branches of the trees thickened over me with every step I took. Until finally, I start to see something on the road. I am approaching the body lying on the road when suddenly... Boo! Why are you sneaking up? Sorry, I couldn't resist. You were so deeply immersed in yourself, it cost me almost nothing to approach you unnoticed. I didn't even have to sneak. Moreover, it is impudent of you to treat in such a manner a person you don't know so much. Wow. Well. What if I were a maniac and decided to perform a ritual sacrifice with you in the lead role? It's a weird thing to say. <clears throat> yeah, she's like, uh, you're a creeper. There is no one around. Does it bother you at all? Sorry, I already apologized. I was just glad to see you, so I decided to play a prank. Do not be angry, please. I'm not going to say anything. Could you really be a maniac? It doesn't matter. We had a case. <laughs> As you say, how are you doing anyway? How was your day? Nothing could be more original. How was my day? All my days are the same. From home to work. From work to home. There is not much to tell. Let's wait till you get older, man. It's a pity. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Didn't want to upset me or get upset yourself. It doesn't matter. Whatever. You won't ups upset me by asking me about my life. Tell me better. Are we still far from the forester? No, he lives next to the forest. A dwee. When I was a kid, that is more than now, 
The other guys from the yard and I played hide and seek here. The other guys from the yard. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours. Okay. I remember you said yes, so... Once my friend and I decided to run the farthest so that no one can find us. We hid behind a tree and waited. I was very scared and my friend called me down. He told me, sorry, is there something wrong? I don't know, I, it's hard for me to concentrate. Can you hear me? Error of 20.9 character not found. Something is wrong. Everything darkens before the eyes. Go, see you tomorrow at the same time in the same place. Day 14. It costs me almost nothing to imagine that forest, as I walk on it, and with each step the branches above me are intertwined more and more tightly. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. I was captivated by this picture, the desire to find out who is on the road. Who did this to her? Hello, are you in a hurry? Hello, I'm looking for you. Come on, we need to get to the forester as soon as possible, until I... Until you again? This does not matter. Hmm. Sorry, I just need to hurry. Phew. Well, find out how it ends. What will end? You want to know as soon as possible how the game will end? Or... Or... What will end? Or a dream? Hmm? Or a dream? Yes, or a dream. Do you think I'm stupid and don't understand what's going on here? Kind of. I mean, if you're stupid for not understanding what's going on here, then that makes two of us. I have no idea. So, well, that's what... I have no idea. Yes? Which? Step back. Well, that's much better. Old blockhead. Make room for his giant blockhead. Yes, you're right. You have become as if closer. I think so, too. Wow, listen. It feels amazing. I feel like I can fly if I wanted to. You're some kind of bad. What's the matter? Fell in love or what? Yes, with you. Wow, that happened quickly. And she's like, um... You wanna, you wanna step off there, sir? Don't joke like that anymore. Sorry, I... You do not know me at all. Sorry, I said it without thinking. Listen. Life's too short. If you love somebody, tell them. What's the worst thing that could happen? They say, that's nice, I don't love you though, or... Because if you love somebody, the feeling is within you. And it's a good feeling. So whether they love you or not is a whole other thing. So, don't hold back your feelings. That's my tip for the day. Okay, let's go. So, what did you say about flying? I don't know. For some reason, it seems ridiculous to me that all people, when they imagine that they have superpowers, they immediately try to fly. Not me. Well, what is so surprising here? People want the impossible. This is understandable. It's not that that's funny. They do not imagine that they are, say, floating in the ground or that they are made of the sun. They immediately try to fly. As if it's the coolest thing you could do. Know, that'd be pretty cool, I guess. What would you do? What a girly question that is. What would you do? Well, what am I? Am I not a girl or what? I would... Oh. Listen, what time is it? Isn't it time for you... No, don't you understand yet? Now I can stay here as long as I want. Day 21. How many days is this? I didn't check. There's an option down here for auto. I wonder what that does. It just rolls for me, maybe? I don't know. I don't click anything. I see a forest in front of me. Eight. I walk along it. 
and with every step. Nine. Tree branches are closing more and more tightly. Ten. I see in front of me on the road. Ready or not, here I come. Boo. Oh my gosh. Do you want to send me to the afterlife? Maybe you're already there, buddy. Ha ha ha. This was the creepiest time ever. You had such a face. A big square black face. Didn't you really expect anything? Again? Ugh, I guess. Ugh. I'm waiting. I guess I'm waiting for you to play by the rules at least once. Am I not playing by the rules? Maybe you play by the rules, but only this is not hide and seek. What do you play? Come on, we've been playing hide and seek for a week now. Aren't you tired of it yet? Can you sometimes have a variety? Sure. But we've never played by the actual rules. Hmm. Stop. Do you hear it? Y yes. What is it? This... This... As if someone is sawing a tree. The, this is... Forrester. Forrester. Hide! Run! My dear, how scary! Why am I so scared? Quiet, don't move. You won't notice us. I don't move, but I'm so scared. Why am I so scared? Quiet. Be quiet. Oh, Lord. Uh... What's the matter? Are you feeling bad? I'm fine, just... I just want to sleep. What? Now? Sorry, Simeon. Just... No. Don't... Do not even think. He's coming! Simeon! Simeon, what did you tell me then? Simeon. Day LFU? I'm not sure what that is. I love you. Elfu. Elfu. That day I woke up in a great mood. The sun was shining outside the window and birds were singing. Usually in such cases I do not try to remember what I dreamed. If I don't remember it right away. But as soon as I plunged into myself that dream in itself came to my head. I dreamed of a forest. A dark forest and a path leading inland. I walk along this path, and with each step the branches of the trees intertwine above me more and more densely. I feel some kind of discomfort. I don't want to be here. But my gaze sticks to the body lying on the road ahead. I know this person? They look surprisingly familiar. I'm approaching the lying one, when suddenly... Hello. Aren't you looking for me? Alice, this is not funny. Sorry, sorry, excuse me, really. In fact, I really not, I'm really not trying to scare you. It's just that it already became our thing. What a great thing to have. If such things are in order of things for you, it is not surprising that you have no friends. <laughs> okay. Wicked burn. It's just the translation's a little off. We get what you're saying, though. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> It's all right. That's what I need. Don't say that, please. I don't know what came over me. I have... I know I have no friends left at all because I'm a useless friend. Oh, self-deprecating. Oh, me. No, that's not true. Listen. No, you said yourself. And if you think so, too, then it is exactly so. Listen. Forgive me. Why do you need it? Need what? Well, maybe I want to be friends with you. Is that so? Well, yes. Why would I say it then if it weren't true? Listen. Come. Stop being such a crybaby. Do, do you want me to take you home? Take me home tonight. I do. So just, you know, cut out that piece of glass, I guess. Well, let's go then. Simeon. What? Do you have friends? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that our protagonist does not. Of course I do. Yes? How many? It's enough. Oh, so none. They live in Canada. And what do you do with your friends? 
Well, we are discussing different things. We are discussing different matters. What matters? Nothing. Well, how is anyone doing at work? Okay, so you talk about work. And how are your friends doing at work? Listen, why do you care how my friends are doing at work? I don't know, just wondering. I have no friends. Ah, everyone with whom I communicate is how you are to me, strangers. Strangers? Yes, strangers. That is how it is? It's very simple. Strangers and that's it. In general, I think that there are no friends. All people are strangers to each other. How is that? Uh, what's wrong with you? Why am why am I put up with such childish childishness? It's tough to say. Well, wait. I don't have friends, and you don't. But that doesn't mean that they don't exist at all, right? That's no. That's exactly what it means. You don't have friends, so they don't exist. Because you don't have them, so how could they exist? Well, some someone may have. So if someone has friends, why can't we have them? Who are we? You will definitely have friends. I can see it now. And can't you? Can't I? No, I won't have anyone. Why? I don't know. Who can need someone like me? Oh, God. Get over yourself. Pity party here. These two are made for each other. No, I don't need myself to impose myself on someone else. But you are not alone. I don't know how to tell you this. Inside me. It seems to me that there is a lot of suffering in me. Alright, yes, that's the human condition. Suffering? Yes, suffering. Why? What kind of suffering? Where does it come from? I do not know. Maybe I'm just bored with everything. I'm sick of it. Maybe you have mono. Disgusted? Disgusted it is. I have nowhere to take strength for, from. Simeon? Am I saying that right? Simeon? I don't know. Semyon? What's the matter with you? I am... Semyon, again. I am... Semyon, wait. I am... Semyon, listen. I am... Semyon, listen to me. Listen to what I tell you. Semyon, suffering is not bad. By definition, it's bad. Semyon. Or Semyon. Suffering is not bad. It's very good. It means that you are still alive. That you can feel that you are alive. I do not want... Semyon, can you tell me... Uh, um, can you still be a man only because you are still suffering? I don't want this anymore. Semyon. I do not want... Semyon! What is with me? What is happening to me? It sounds like you just need to, you know, spark up a J and relax. Okay? Day on. I set my alarm 15 minutes early that day. I wanted to wake up and go to bed again. To stay longer in the forest. I stood in front of it, watching with my eyes the path leading into the depths. With each step along it, the branches of trees closed above me more and more densely. Soon I felt the familiar goosebumps again. I feel that I am not alone here. I see a girl lying in front of me on the road. I bend over to see her face, when suddenly... Boo! Not funny. Isn't it funny again? If the same joke is repeated a hundred thousand times, it's unlikely to get any funnier. Why so? I don't know, because it's just like that. Well, I don't know. In my opinion, this is just stupid. Even if that joke isn't funny, the longer you repeat it, the funnier it gets. I don't even see how it's a joke. In my opinion, this is obvious. Tell me, do you have a lot of things that are so obvious to you? Mmm, let me think. I don't know. What about you? Eh, uh, that's just the point. It seems to me that I do not have a single one. Come on, it can't be. Well, that is... I know that I love my parents. This is obvious to me. See now? 
Yes, but otherwise... Otherwise, I seem to be stranded. Here we go again. Why does it seem to you that others aren't? Well, why everyone has so much meaning in their eyes? So much... I don't know... Truth or something? And can't you? I don't know what to believe. And all around it feels like a conspiracy. Everyone knows everything, but I seem to be missing something. Simeon, it will pass. Pfft. Yeah, thanks. That totally worked. Simeon, really, it's nothing. Sure, what could it be? Well, well, think about it yourself. You say that you are stranded. That you see the meaning in other people's eyes. Yes, I do. You say that you are stranded yourself, but you can't look into your own eyes, can you? Well, you seem to be holding me for a fool. Are there no mirrors in this universe? Is that so? As a matter of fact, I can look into my own eyes. I can look at them in the mirror. Ah, thank you. Well, in the mirror, one does not see themselves, but only a reflection of themselves. Hmm. Well, I can look at myself on the video. Well, don't you see the meaning in your eyes? Can't you? Really? Stupid topic. Why stupid? I want to tell you something. Well, come on, speak then. There is no meaning. It's very nihilist. And so it begins. No, what's wrong with that? Ah, yes, and there is no meaning, and life is short, and we will all die. Is that what you want to tell me? Well, maybe just a little more specific. There is no meaning in general, but there is in particular. Talking about the micro-narrative. That is everything together, absolutely everything. This is already nonsense. The meaning is only in the details, because this is the purpose of meaning, to communicate the divided. All right, Nietzsche. Alice, are you crazy? Think what you want. You started it yourself. Yes, now I'm not happy myself. So don't judge yourself by others. You don't know... Uh-oh. Alice? Yes, you don't know... Eat. Alice? At the same time, in the same place... Alice? Alice! No, 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 no. What is it? Alice! Where am I? What happened with me? Someone help! Another error. Who are you? How? How can you help? Day 999. It's like three years. Alice? Yes? Tell me, what are you thinking? I don't know. What are you talking about? Yes, me too. It's like, I don't know what to think about anymore. Okay, let me help you. Imagine a forest, trees with dense foliage, and a path leading to the depths. Imagine that you are walking along this path, and with each step you take, the branches over your head are closing more and more tightly. It's already completely dark around, and you are scared. You are afraid that someone will see you and understand that you are afraid. And now, under the streetlight, you see a girl lying. Who is she? I do not know. For all this time, I've been... Me. Alice? Is it... Is it you? How did she get here? What is she doing here? I do not... She didn't want to be here. But something, or someone, forced her. Do you remember with whom? Do you remember why you were here? I want to help. She doesn't need help. From you. Ouch. Sorry. I am so sorry. It's me. It's all my fault. What am I to do now? 
Who's there? Another character not found error. You? What do you want from me? What are you talking about? Can't you see where I am? Yes? Trapped. In your dreams. What? You know I have no options. Okay, I take your deal. Speak your message. I don't know if this is like a real real thing or part of the game. The end is not the end? What do you mean the end is not the end? Let me out of here. We had an agreement. Release me. Day 24. We're just jumping all over the place here. Now there's time travel. Come on. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's run and roll. Ugh, damn it. Just why does it have to be a forest? I see a path in front of me. It leads inward. I walk deeper along it, and with each step I take, the branches are intertwined over my head more and more densely. Am I sleeping? I'm in a dream, right? It all just seems to me I'm imagining things. Who are you? Why am I here? What have I done? Why would I do this? You came here. Scared me again. I didn't call you. You came here yourself. So why? What do you need? Why are you coming here again? And again. I don't... I don't... I do not know. What if you're lying? Why? No, you're not lying. You are not here at all. What? You're just scaffolding an excuse. Listen, have you influenced anything so far? Have you ever made a choice? What? Decided your fate? Your plot? What? No! You don't know how you got on this train. You don't know where you will arrive. Why are you trying to remember something? After all, you do not know anything about me except what I myself told you. And I know everything about you. I know that you're Semyon Serev. You live in a rented room in a house down the street. Lived, that is. I'm... I know that... That you're not here. That you're a figment, a fantasy. That you are supposedly trying to remember something, but in reality... But it's actually just me. It was all me. I wanted to forget how we were together. How we were together in that forest, and you whispered to me. How bitter and ashamed I was from my weakness. Ugh, serves you right. To present real memories as fantasy and fantasy as reality. What a fool I am. I made up all this nonsense about a terrible forest, forester, about a body on the road so that I could justify something for you to come to me, to come and stop the pain. But you know what? This time something has changed. Maybe this time... Enough? Enough! I'm not afraid of this forest anymore. I'm not a body lying on the road anymore. And I don't need you anymore. I won't stay here a second longer. I will go right through this forest because, because I'm tired of hiding that something is wrong, I'm tired of pretending that this is how it should be. I can no longer continue to do this. My family, my loved ones, everyone I knew, everyone who helped me, I, anymore, I can't let myself down anymore. I have nothing else to do here. This is my stop. This is 
just copyrighted music? I'll take a hit, it's fine. I'm not monetized. Riding on a train, 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 looking out the window, wondering where everything did go. Lyrics by Palace of Poison. Parking lot full of cars and the sun is shining through the bars on my window. I stare out anyway. Trees in the background flying by my face. There is a creepy guy following me. I'm gonna spray him with some mace. I I have no idea what's happening right now. It's like I mean, I kind of get what's going on with the story, but not 100% because the translation's a little on you. You know? It's a little glitchy. Well, I don't know. Should I say yes or no? Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna say yes. Oh, okay, then it, then it ends. Okay. So this is probably copyrighted music, right? Uh, let's just go ahead and drop the volume there. Um, yeah, so... Not entirely sure what's, uh, what is really going on here. Um, I, I kind of... I flipped the script on us a little bit there towards the end. Like, who was the dreamer and who was dreaming? Somebody was making up somebody else. And it's like they were trying to rationalize a bad decision or something horrible that happened. Uh, so they just had to work through it. So that's what we were witnessing was them working through it, uh, more or less. And uh, I'm sure there is additional... Storyline if we were to say no, it wasn't enough there at the very end where we made that choice and could probably go back uh, load that up and then um, You know make it make a different choice uh, But yeah, I mean the art style is pretty cool um, Despite the fact that you know, it's kind of hard to follow the Story based on off of the, the translation that wasn't perfect uh, It's a neat idea Visual novels, I mean, of course, there's not a lot of gameplay. It's basically you're just clicking along and um, just kind of witnessing it unfold. I like the etch, etched glass kind of art style thing there. Um, that was cool. Like the girl in the forest were very detailed, and the protagonist, who may or may not actually have been the antagonist at the end there, it's just like this weird, you know, boxy kind of stick figure thing, which is. Uh, symbolic, you know, of course, and how they see them or how Alice sees him. Um, but anyway, you can draw whatever conclusions you want. Uh, go ahead and check this game out yourself. You can uh, pick it up on Steam. And yeah, I'm, I'm only going to post this much of the, of the video because uh, I don't want to like ruin the whole thing uh, for you if you decide to get it. So uh, if, I, if I go back and I make another choice, I'm not going to 
not going to show that because then you don't have any reason to go and get the game yourself and then you know support the developers and, and things like that all right so that's going to do it for this video uh, thanks for watching uh, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video Bye bye